Today, I have bought the cheapest S-Class in Thailand. And what I mean by S-Class, I mean the S-221. What is up everybody and welcome to a brand new video. Today's video is not going to be about politics or anything like that, but you guys know that I had a Freedom Mobile back in Russia. Now it's time to do the same thing in Thailand. Well, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to even do it, but let's see, let's try. I'm going to be checking out some American vehicles. As you guys, most of you know, I actually put the Datsun on for sale because it's just way too many things to do. And you might be wondering why I'm taking a taxi over to Bangkok, because it's raining out here. We have arrived over to Bangkok. Now, we're actually walking to a car shop right now because the taxi driver who was driving us over here, I don't understand how they use GPS, but when I give them the address, they type it in, it shows them a completely different place. When I type it in on my phone, it shows me the right place. I have absolutely no idea how this works. Yeah, guys, we're not buying this. I'm trying to find the car right now. I have no idea where it is. I don't even know where the heck the shop is. Nobody is replying to me. I'm in the middle of, I don't even know where the heck I am trying to find a vehicle, which seems like it's impossible because usually people for some reason do not reply to texts or whatever once you actually get close to their business it's like they don't want to sell the car i don't know what's going on so here is the car we're going to be checking out before anybody tells me about their unreliability or anything like that i've done a lot of research and this might be stupid but this is a good car for traveling around Thailand making content for you. Look at the size of this car. So I'm checking out the car and it seems like every car I look at, they leak. You can see it's uh, got some leaks in there. It's a cool looking SUV, but yeah, I could see from the valve covers, there's a leak on this side. Also, there is paint issues on this car as well. You could see the paint has cracked over here on the back. The tail light is glued in together. What the heck do they think is gonna buy this car? And it's not cheap either at all. Uh, yes, we got, I can literally see a leak from another side of the engine from the pump. The valve covers are leaking as well. The under of the engine is leaking as well. This whole engine is leaking. Unfortunately, I started up this car, checked out the engine and everything like that. And guess what? I know a lot of people say that those cars are heavily unreliable for some reason. The oil pressure is low in this car and that the computer said that also needs an oil change, also has oil all over the underneath of the engine so i really like the way it looks like but it has way too many problems and fixing up a ford v8 in thailand would be very costly they, they don't really take care of cars that much here and this car has lpg as well so it's running on gas and uh, yeah that's also a problem it's good to drive around you know but for the price they ask for this car, I'm not even gonna disclose it, it's too crazy. I just thought, you know, why not bring back the good old V8 into the channel, but this is just way too costly to fix this car right here, but it does look awesome. So we came to another dealership to check out another car to daily drive, and it's right there. Saudi Cup. The Mercedes? Yeah? Talk. Talk. There it is. 
<laughs> uh, I will do. Huh. I will. Yeah. Mm. Translate. <laughs> yeah, translate. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Guys, uh, I'm in the midst of buying a S-Class in Thailand. Yes, yes, yes. So, I am getting myself somewhat of a S300 Hoopty Mobile, but we need to be driving in comfort and in style around Thailand. It does have some issues, but this is the cheapest S-Class <laughs> 221 that you could buy. It's got some sounds that I don't want to listen to, but this is how it looks like. Looks nice. Let's see if they uh, take me on the offer. You could see Evelina right here. There is chain sounds inside here that I could probably get a sound of, but for this price, I'd say you wouldn't be able to. And we'll need to change this headlamp right here because it's broken. I've been trying to find a daily car for the past five days and this is it i guess hopefully we get the prize going let's see if this guy has talked to the boss oh okay thank you guys it looks like i have bought this car probably biggest mistake in my life well guys i just bought myself a mercedes s-class three liter v6 that's probably gonna die Got the two keys here. Probably the worst financial decision you can do. Let's hope it makes it to Pattaya. So guys, I got all the car documents here. Thank you very much. Here's the whole crew that sold me the car. And let's go and try it out. Oh, so what did I get myself into? What did I get myself into? I did not want to take a taxi back from Bangkok. So now we are the proud owners of the Mercedes S300. So let's go and hopefully it makes it to Pattaya. And here we are. Oh, take a photo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One minute. Okay, let's get some photos done. Is it your first car? How many car you sell? Three car you sell. Oh, this is number three. This number three. Oh, very good. Very good. <laughs> so we're getting some photos taken. One, two, three. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And here we are at Wisdom Auto with our brand new Mercedes. Well, not brand new, but very nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. We are in the world of luxury now. I gotta tell you this guys, I've actually spent a whole week of driving to Bangkok because I was in search of a car that we would be able to use to actually travel around Thailand, make some content for you guys. And you know what? We have found this car, which is the cheapest S-Class in Thailand. It does have some minor problems and that is exactly what we are going to be doing in the next few days now i gotta tell you one thing the ride is smooth the gearbox works great the engine works good as well it just the chain needs to be replaced because i have a feeling it does it definitely does because this car has 378,000 kilometers was this a stupid purchase probably yes is it going to make a lot of interesting content? Definitely. Now, a lot of people were thinking and saying that in Thailand, it's actually very hard to find parts for this car. That is partially true, but at the same time, I could always have my friends in Russia send me over the parts I need to put on this car. So I got that sorted out. That shouldn't be a problem. Hopefully everything works out. But I gotta tell you one thing, guys. I definitely do enjoy this car. It's so smooth, so quiet, so comfy. 
what could possibly be better. It's my first Mercedes as well. So let's see how it goes. The first and the cheapest Mercedes S-Class. And when I say S-Class, I mean this body in Thailand. Now it does have a check engine light on the dash, which is because of that chain. But rather than that, it's one heck of a smooth ride. We're driving around Pattaya. I didn't even record when we were driving back because it was just so comfortable so quiet so relaxing it feels good to be in a really good car once again you know riding with style definitely now let's hope this is not going to make me completely broke now the update on the datsun i will actually be selling it so if you're interested in it and you live in Pattaya or bangkok you could hit me up on my email or on facebook marketplace message me and you could purchase yourself a good old Datsun. So we have come over to the Jomkian beach and I wanted to tell you a little bit about this car. So you might be wondering, Ivan, what did you get yourself into? So I got myself into a V6 3 liter naturally aspirated S-Class that is from 2008. So it's not the oldest of the cars that I've owned. My Escalade was a 2008. So this is uh, relatively, you know, new to me. Before anybody starts saying that, wow, you should have bought yourself a brand new S-Class. Where the heck am I gonna get the money for it? And I gotta tell you one thing, guys. A lot of you were telling me that I've been buying junk for kids and that this is not fast and furious. And I thought it's a good idea to listen to you guys. And that is the reason I actually purchased this S-Class so we could finally be traveling around Thailand, checking places out because it is just impossible to do it in the cars I had before. In here, I could be driving this thing for 10 hours straight with absolutely no problem. We just gotta figure out the chaining sounds because you could kind of hear it. You could kind of hear the start of it, the gist of it, but pretty sure Tay would be able to fix this. Now, Tay doesn't even know about this. He'll probably know about this when the video comes out today, and I will be coming over to his workshop tomorrow. So he's gonna be in a very big surprise seeing this monster coming into his workshop. And then we got a guy who sells cockroaches over there. Anyways, this is the S-Class that we have now, and we're gonna be rolling around Thailand while we are here. You might be asking me, Ivan, are you happy? Yes, I am. Am I scared? Yes, I am. Obviously, I'm scared because this car could be a lot of problems. Let's hope that is not the case. But I gotta tell you one thing, look at this thing. It definitely looks very nice and for the price i got it i'm not going to disclose it because one day i will actually be selling this but if you look at the market prices of those cars i literally got it even little less than half price of the lowest price of those s classes which is a miracle an absolute miracle so let's hope that it works out Let's hope it does. Well, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please tell me in the comment section, what do you guys think about this? I know a lot of you guys are gonna be saying that this is stupid. A lot of people are gonna say that, oh, you got yourself a Datsun and you didn't finish it. Well, I realized one thing, that I wanted to make more content actually going to different places not just being in workshops, getting V8s put in. I want to show you what the heck is happening here. And to travel around, we gotta be traveling huge distances all around Thailand. So you are definitely going to be enjoying it. And nevertheless, guys, before anybody says that I did a stupid thing, I can always sell it for a profit because this was a quick flip deal which was done and I even haggled down the price even more as you saw in the video. 
So thank you very much for watching. I love every single one of you. I really appreciate the support you guys give to the channel. And I'll see you next time. And next time will be us figuring out what we need to fix in this bad boy. See you later, guys.